difference in style, different styles. And someone like Chev, who's an Olympian, uh, on 10, 12 round fights, is someone you want to be in, in the mix with, someone of experience. And it's going to come and be aggressive. We've seen him fight. I've, I love watching him fight. Very aggressive and he's entertaining. And we want to be in fights like that ourselves. And you've got to do that and imitate that inspiring as well. Boss. He's very explosive. Um, I don't think he's had much amateur experience and he's just taking it on and he's learning the game as he goes. So you have to respect it. And um, he's been finishing people in good fashion. So it's exciting and that's what people want to see. I like to see it. So the long may it continue for him. If you check my Olympic journey, I fought tall guys, 6'2", six, 6'5". Six, so it's good. Um, he's a heavyweight, so he's a lot stronger. So I can test my strength. And um, yeah, it'll be good. I was looking at a Southern Area title fight. Um, there was a possibility of that happening. Um, probably sensible thinking, it's really, like, I was eager to do it, I wanted to go. Southern Area, it sounds great. Really get the Romperable Army uh, motivated, but I've had one eight round fight. Probably sensible for my team to say, let's have one other eight round fight. And then towards the end of the year, we'll be looking at them 10 round fights and uh, we're getting into the mix slowly but surely. What sort of names have been thrown out to you so far that you think we could see you in the ring with before the years? Yeah, um, there's been a few. Um, Nick Campbell was one that um, we was sort of trying to get to get on for this fight. Um, Steve Robinson's another one who would be great. And um, listen, that sort of British heavyweight mix with the Fraser Clarks, the Fabio Wardley's, of course, the, the King of the Hill, the Solomons, the David Adelaide's, they're that little pitch ahead. But that's my target to, walk, to work towards them boys. And you've got to slowly step up the, uh, the opposition as you do, as you work towards that. I'm sick of boxing. I'm marginally better at boxing. Yeah, he even hit the rim. I hit the rim. Oh! Oh, I told you. I do not put that anywhere. <laughs> I don't consent for that to go anywhere. This next fight is a final eliminator for the British title. As a fighter moving towards title contention now, why does that excite you? It's exciting because it's one of the staple belts. Like when you've got a British belt, like you can say, okay, I've done, you've achieved something, do you know what I mean? And then you can either defend it um, or move on or whatever. So, you know, it's great to have my name in contention for that, especially being so early as well. So another goal ticked off the list, I suppose. Do you know an awful lot about your opponent on June 10th, David Jameson? We've done some research, yeah. So we know what we need to know. Um, and come June 10th, you'll find out. Control it. Less is more. Snap the jab. Snap the jab. Good work, man. Big guy. Nice jab. Can push you around the ring. Physical. But yeah, good, good experience. Arms on the inside, John. Good boy. Lift it, lift it up off the jab. Sharp. Really, really good work. Um, obviously, spying Chev is a privilege because of the, uh, the experience he's got and a lot to learn off him. And someone uh, very difficult to spar in ways because he's, he's short, powerful, and gives you a lot to think about. It was really good to be on, on the inside with him because once I thought, trying to be sensible, keep him long. When he comes in, tie him up. Don't try and do anything spectacular the first time we sparred, but you tie him up and then he's got the know how to get out and get a few shots off. So that experience level's there. and. Uh, it's always good to feel, feel the experience, not just watch it on a, on a TV screen. Less is more, just control. Control more, yeah, yeah, control more. So less is more. Let him do all the jumping around. Fucking beautiful jab, beautiful jab. Good jab. Whether you spar really well or you don't spar so well, you're just getting rounds in the bank. And uh, today was a good day, got 10 rounds in, with a little break in between, and uh, just building that round fitness up. And as long as you keep turning up, you keep trying your best, good things will happen. A little left up, up my hand, sharp, sharp. Don't look to be too greedy with distance, yeah? Johnny! Come through, man. They don't, sir. Talk to them. Bosh! No, Let me. <laughs> Let bosh. What's your boss? What's your signature boss? I don't have a boss, he's just Team C4, bro. Chef Bosh. <laughs> How was the work, John? <laughs> Fucking hard work. He's, he's looking good, sorry for swearing. <laughs> Ten rounds in, he's looking sharp, and uh, you can tell he's at a very good level and he's always he's always giving it good in the ring and gave me a good work out there and I'm, I'm glad I'm very privileged to have got a few rounds in with him. Everyone knows my background I didn't have a long amateur career someone with a pedigree of Chev who's been to the Olympics who's that little bit more experienced he's that little bit further ahead than me and um, he can show sometimes in there because he's got the experience he's got the know-how and he's also very sharp and powerful and uh, it's good to spar people like that as well you've got to vary it up. As you said he hasn't had much amateur experience 
but he's here every day working and honing his skills um, and he's showing in the ring so as I said earlier on long may it continue. Shout out to the Bosch army, your guys putting in the work looking good um, so yeah come out support in abundance it's gonna be it's gonna be explosive.